Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's see how is the macro photos, macro shots on this Vivo X200 Ultra smartphone. So using the periscope telephoto lens and it's a 200 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL GHP9 sensor. So using that telephoto lens, you can capture the tele macro shots. I'll show you all the samples I've taken using this Vivo X200 Ultra. So firstly, before that, let's have a look on the camera settings. So firstly, after opening the camera application, now in the photo mode at top, at the center, you have to click on this icon. So this one is a super macro. So once you selected the super macro, you can able to shot in a different focal length. And also in the macro, you can able to take some bokeh shot also. So that is supported only up to 170mm. So around 85 and 170mm, you can able to customize the bokeh effect. Here is the option F2.8. Uh, 2.8 is a strong bokeh. And if whatever the bokeh effect you want, you can adjust using this setting. Then there is a different styles to take the macro photography on the Vivo X200 Ultra. You have to click on this option so now here you can see different styles black and white texture vivid z's and then classic negative grapefruit night breeze macrons yogurt so like the different styles are there i selected texture so i feel like texture style is really good and it's look almost natural so now this one is a basic setting now let me show you the macro shots of this vivo x200 ultra now firstly here are some flowers photos so we take some uh, tiny uh, small flowers using the macro shot so all these shots are really comes out well so especially i like uh, this photo so as you look at the colors and the background that the blur effect and the details uh, all the things are really good and also the photos look really high quality so and it's a macro photo and i go very closer to the subject actually it's a small flower but we can able to see very closer using the 460 mm so you can able to see all the seeds in this uh, flower and it also is a 20x zoom and this one is a 10x zoom both these photos are really good the background uh, blur effect is really good so as you go uh, very close to the subject surely the blur amount will be more and also the details is good colors is good and it's a high resolution photo as well then we shot uh, many water drops uh, using the macro uh, vivo x200 macro shot so these are all the photos all the photos are really good especially uh, i like uh, this photo this one is 7.4x and then it's a 20x zoom it's really looking nice in the water drops you can able to see the trees reflection so in that way it's really good then this photo is also really good the waters is mingled with that uh, tree stem so and it's a 20x zoom this shot is also beautiful the background blur is good that edge detection everything is good and it's high resolution so overall the macro photography of water drops are really good and also i like uh, this type of uh, water drops as well then i shot some experimental uh, macro shots so firstly so as you look at, I, I shot the PC display screen, so it's a white color. So when I go further closer with the white screen, I get the sub pixels, so which is a RGB. You can see the red, green, blue here. So multiple RGBs. So, so it's a sub pixels. When we go very closer to the display, we can able to see the foundation colors. So that is the RGB, uh, RGB pixels. And it's for the white display. For white display, we see the RGB. Then I shot uh, this photo. It's a yellow color in the screen. So when I go very closer with this uh, screen, I got the red and green pixels because blue is actually eliminated. With the help of the red and green combination, we got the yellow color. And this sub pixels on the display shot is taken at a 460mm at f16.0 and it's a 20x zoom. So you can able to shot the pixels on your display as well. Then finally, we shot uh, many insect photos. So all the insect photos are really good. Mainly this photo is a really fantastic and it's a jumping spider so I shot in the all the angles that jumping spider is actually moving around and it rotating in the same area so as you've seen on the front look there is a different types of a jumping spider with the four eyes eight eyes six eyes I shot the six eyes jumping spider so in the front there is a totally a four eyes and here is a two headlight type of eyes and then here is a two eyes and then at the back side there is a two eyes when you go closer so here is a two eyes so therefore uh, this jumping spider as a inbuilt insta 360 camera it actually sees the world in a 360 degree view so overall the photos really comes out well using the vivo x200 ultra macro photography and also i shot uh, many ant photos so ant is already uh, very tinny so but it actually comes out really well then i shot some uh, butterfly photos so here is some bees photo so this one is also really comes out well so these two photos are really good on the bees photos then i shot the another a butterfly photo this one is also really good 
and in this shot i go very closer to the butterfly this photo is also high resolution and i shot this on the 460 mm at 20 x zoom mostly if you shot at a 460 mm you will get the subject very closer to you and also the details are really good so i am actually zooming here you can able to see all the details here see the butterfly eyes legs and also the colors are really good and look at this leaves color so this one is also good so overall this photo is also really beautiful shot on the macro photography then here is a one more bees trying to uh, drink the juice from the flower so this one is also really good looking so in this photo you can able to see it actually takes something in this flower and uh, eating here so you can able to see it here so the shot is comes out really well and also the background blur amount is also good then i shot uh, one more uh, butterfly photos so not only a uh, very tiny object uh, so using the macro setting itself i uh, actually shot the long distance subject also because this butterfly actually in the long distance especially i like this shot it's really good so i can able to see good colors and the details and that background uh, blur effect everything is good then this photo is captured at 85 mm and it's a flush fly or a home fly like that normally seen with your eyes this fly is actually looks like this now this is the macro photography of that uh, flush fly so this shots also comes out really well the texture is good and the detailing is good and the colors is good so everything is good on this uh, shot also i shot in the this one is a 170 mm in the 170 mm you will get a good details as well so even on zoom you will get a very good detail then on the 230 mm so this one is a 230 mm shot 10x and this one is a 20x zoom so on the 20x already it's uh, closer to you so if you zoom that it will give a very less detail only then again i shot some uh, jumping spider and this one is also having a six eye so in this 230 mm 10x photo the jumping spider is actually heads up so you can able to see two eyes here it looks like a sunglass and then here is a two eyes and then here is a two eyes then this one is a one more shot and this shot is a really beautiful and terrific in look uh, look at the texture and the hairs so on the whole image is really good on the colors is also good so overall these are all the macro photos on the vivo x200 ultra so all the photos are really comes out well if you go deeper you will get a good shot on the vivo x200 ultra in the vivo x200 ultra tele macro you will get a 20x of zoom so without disturbing the insect or without going further closer to the insect you can take this much of good shots of insect photo or any flowers photo or anything else you can explore a lot more using the macro photography it's a complete a different world you see something unseen using this uh, vivo x200 uh, ultra macro photography yeah, that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like and subscribe to our channel and uh, thanks for watching this video guys.